Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and run Sierra Chart on Ubuntu Linux. The version of Ubuntu used on this video is the latest non LTS, which is 19.10. If you are using the LTS version, the process is the same with minor differences. Sierra Chart is a very stable trading platform developed for Windows that code an entire Linux C. It makes no use of the .NET framework and I found its performance is excellent compared to other trading platforms available on the market. It also provides tons of functionality including a lot of indicators that are usable out of the box. Currently it's the only full feature trading platform that I have found that can run on Linux and provide a stable experience for a trader. We are going to use the one emulator for running Sierra Chart. So let's start. I have a VM ready for this video. I have just uh, fully updated it and I'm going to reboot. So now we're going to follow the instructions to install Wine. First, we we're going we and just enable um, adding packages from the 386 uh, architecture. Now we're going to install curl and add the uh, wine GPT key. Okay, now let's enable the repository. Interesting. Let's try again. Now the process is actually making making use of this. Okay. Now one comes in, in three provides three branches: a stable branch, a development branch, and the staging. The staging is the one that has all the bleeding edge functionality. And this is the one that uh, I'm also installing. Perfect. Now one is installed. Another um, other package that we are going to install uh, is Wine Tricks, which is going to help us in order to install some uh, component uh, on the Windows uh, installation. Uh, what we are going to create is we are going to create a bottle. 
bottle is uh, actually a configuration directory for wine uh, which can help you keep uh, separate installations for several programs or, or sets of programs so each bottle actually holds the whole Windows installation along with whatever you installed on, on, that, uh, on that partition let's call it so in order to do that we are going to set the wine prefix to the location that we want to have it installed so I'm going to use this location here To run the one CNC command. Oops. Yeah. We need to specify minus P. Now wine is configured that location to be ready to use. install what uh, it recommends okay and we're created with a configuration window of mine now what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to change the Windows version to Windows 10 hit apply and OK that's it and now we're going to run wine tricks. The only thing that we're going to need uh, from wine tricks is to go to install a Windows dealer component and find Scroll down, install the Visual C++ 2010 libraries. This is the only dependency for Sierra Chart to run under Wine. This all happens two times. The first time is the 32 bit, uh, and the second time is the 64 bit version. Great. Okay, we'll just close the window. Problem. Okay. So whatever command you run regarding uh, wine and running Sierra chart, you need to add this wine prefix. Uh, you need to define this. You can uh, just enter it like this and then you can have uh, whatever command you like. You can execute whatever command you like, like wine tricks, wine CFG, uh, wine file, or the other thing that you can do is just export it. So if you do this, then you can run, for example, NCFG, and this is going to use the previous export.
same way what we're going to do is actually run one file which is the file explorer and now we're going to download share chart Here on the Explorer, we actually have uh, a drive mapped as Z, which is actually the Unix file system. And here I can find my downloaded file, you can double click it, and it opens the installation path. Let's leave it uh, the default, click install. Close. Now we need to enter our credentials. So you need to have a fully functional. Uh, actually, you need to have a license for CRTR. So for this demo, I'm going to enter my credentials. Okay, we'll click again. Here we are. Let's close your windows. Okay, and we have a fully working Sierra Chart installation. Still downloading historical data, but it works perfectly fine. Personally, I already using Sierra Chart for live trading, uh, for futures and forex for almost a year now uh, I can say to you that uh, it's pretty much uh, stable I never had a crash so far and obviously I'm uh, running in uh, under uh, Linux with a wine emulator so so far no crashes I'm running several instances and I'm using tick charts which means that uh, the way that I'm using it is actually pretty much uh, intensive uh, but still no crashes performance wise it's even faster than Windows and that's because of the, all the system calls that uh, are actually faster under Linux uh, the network stack is uh, is faster. Uh, everything, also the graphics. Um, so 
no problem so far highly recommended and it's the only platform so far but for me uh, works like this under Linux the only alternative kind of alternative I would say it's MetaTrader that also runs uh, under Wine emulation but uh, I mean you cannot compare it with uh, Sierra chart uh, MetaTrader does not have tick charts um, it lacks so much functionality and performance wise uh, if you're using unfiltered feeds I mean it's it's gonna lag really really bad at some point so yeah for me uh, Sierra chart is my main trading platform and I'm very happy that uh, it runs under Linux and it's so stable that I can uh, do live trading with it. So hopefully this uh, this video helped you. And hopefully if you try uh, Sierra Chart, I am sure that you 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 are not going to be uh, disappointed by it, especially under Linux. So if you have any comment, please comment on the video. If you like this video, click like and uh, if you want to see more videos like this uh, I would really like to, to subscribe to my channel so thank you for watching